So we just got brand new news today. Um, patch 11.0.5 coming up for the WoW's 20th anniversary. Um, the 20th anniversary is the 11.0.5 patch. Um, we're getting modern tier 2 transmogs amongst a whole host of other events, uh, mounts, and, and stuff like that. So uh, this news came out literally two hours ago. Uh, WoW tweeted out their reveal. So modernized tier 2 transmog sets, Black Art Depths, uh, raid uh revisiting a q classic time walking dungeon uh, along with being able to farm the tokens so like the being able to get the tokens like while you're in the raid uh and being able to farm those tokens so you can go all after all that loot corrects revenge pvp uh it says additional activities and rewards they have like a um kind of event hub set up outside of the caverns of time where you can do a host of mini games and um get some different transmogs and some different rewards um there's a video on blizzard's twitter um with uh, Holly Longdale, um, Brett Cocking, and associate game designer Leah Huang, um, hosted by community manager Bethany Stout, where they have uh, a whole conversation about what you can see. If you want to see that, I'll have a link down below this video. So, um, BRD is a 10 to 15 player raid with eight main bosses and five mini bosses. It's going to have an LFR normal and heroic difficulty. Uh, new world event, revisit the opening gates of AQ, Scourge, Legion, Karaji, Invasions, and Silithus and Tychondrius. Osirian, Kel'Thuzad uh, as world bosses. Time walking classic dungeons, going to be Dead Mines, Zulfarak, Diomar, Diomar, Dire Maul both wings, Stratholme, both wings, uh, and that will continue to persist after the anniversary, joining the regular time walking rotation. Uh, there's going to be a time walking vendor refresh, so if you've already got all the mounts and all the transmogs and all the stuff out of there, uh, revisit there because there's probably going to be some new stuff. New Fashion Frenzy event. Uh, this is just Asmog's Transmog, but organized by Blizzard. Mount Mania, uh, same thing. Asmog event, but organized by Blizzard. Pet Corner, where you can transform into your battle pets. All of this is around the Caverns of Time area. Guest Relations event, where it's a, a sequel to The Secrets of Azeroth. I didn't take part in that. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of, uh, it seems like mini quests around the area where you're like solving problems uh, for the uh, event hosts. And old time walking world bosses returning, plus Shaw of Anger and Archibon of Stone Watcher, which will also get you spawn points in Tanaris. Shamans are also getting some new ascendant forms. Um, I really wanted to look at the the sets, right? So let's uh let's go here. So. Uh, for some classes that didn't have tier 2 sets, they've essentially made one. So here we have Death Knight, Hunter, and Mage. Here we have Warrior, Druid, and Priest. Here we have Monk, Shaman, and Evoker. The Shaman set looks so good. Here we have Warlock, Demon Hunter, and Rogue. Uh, Priest, Mage, and Warlock. And then, of course, the Paladin set. The Judgment set is coming back. Um, Evoker set, they said in the video that they um, they modeled this after Rathian set in Classic. Um, Death Knight got modeled after, like, a Lich King, uh, Demon Hunter set, and Monk set. Uh, that's all the news here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to keep this video short. If this was helpful or informative to you, please, please, please uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button over here on YouTube. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.